macOS 26 Tahoe comes out today with a new liquid glass design and a whole host of exciting new features. But if you use your Mac to create music, you definitely shouldn't update. Or not yet, anyway. There is one exception to this. If you use Apple-made music production programs like GarageBand, Logic Pro or Mainstage and you don't use any third-party instruments, plugins or sample libraries, then it's likely safe to update on day one with no issues. For the vast majority of us who do use third-party plugins and instruments, it's best to wait until you get the all clear from the companies who make the stuff you use. Some companies have actually gone out of their way to explicitly warn their customers not to update to macOS 26. Focusrite, for example, state, until we have finished fully testing macOS Tahoe beta versions, golden image and first release versions, we do not recommend updating to macOS Tahoe. And Arturia encouraged their customers to please hold off upgrading for now. As with all significant operating system releases, we strongly recommend you do not upgrade to macOS Tahoe just yet. We are currently starting the validation phase for all of our products, software, instrument and effects. But until the end of this validation phase, which may require a few months, we can't provide guarantees that everything will work fine without facing any potential stability issues. Sweetwater have a fantastic macOS compatibility tool where they list all major music plugin and hardware manufacturers and their current compatibility status for macOS 26 Tahoe. They've put together compatibility lists like this for years now and it's a great way to see what manufacturers support new macOS versions at a glance. This year though, it's a bit weird as the vast majority of companies have no macOS 26 compatibility info available. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, I think most companies are probably just hedging their bets, waiting and seeing how their products work with this new version of macOS once it's released. Anyone who was making music on a Mac back in 2019 will no doubt remember the massive headaches caused by the release of macOS Catalina, which was the first version of macOS to require all programs to be 64-bit. Any 32-bit programs or software that had to access 32-bit libraries were not compatible with it. Cue an industry-wide meltdown as early adopters excitedly updated their Macs only to find that none of their plugins or hardware even in some cases worked anymore. I don't think macOS 26 will cause anything close to that level of carnage, but it may explain why companies like Native Instruments, Isotope and Baby Audio to name but a few are choosing to just wait and see before releasing updates on their product's compatibility. Whatever the reason, if you rely on third-party plugins, instruments or sample libraries for your creative workflow, hold off until you get the go-ahead from the companies whose products you use. A link to Sweetwater's excellent macOS Tahoe compatibility tool down below so you can have a gander yourself. I will of course be completely ignoring my own advice and diving feet first into macOS 26 Tahoe as soon as it's released. So if you want to see how that works out for me, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you plan to update to macOS 26 and when you plan to do so down in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, give that like button a wee tickle on your way past. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video.